Hey everybody, Ron here with Solo Operator Games. I'm back inside Tabletop Simulator and I'm playing a game of Three Sisters. Uh, this is a game published by Motor City Gameworks and designed by Ben Pinchback and Matt Riddle, uh, who also designed Fleet the Dice Game, which I've also featured on my channel. Um, it has a very similar solo mode uh, to Fleet, um, in which you have an AI player that's um, taking away opportunities from you and, and you're trying to achieve a high score um through yeah through maximize your actions i guess um so yeah it's a really fun game i'll kind of teach it as we play uh, we have the rival farmer here named edith and we're over the course of eight rounds we're going to try and grow crops uh both pumpkins corn and beans uh grow some perennial flowers maybe do a little beehives and apiary uh grow our orchard and make some tools in our shed and so to, to start that out, we're going to uh, roll these four dice and we're going to sort them by low to high and group them by the similar number and the, um, go around this little rondelle of actions here. So the one will start here, two, three, and four. We just happen to get <laughs> six sequence numbers and Edith moves over here. In the odd rounds, we are first. So I get to pick the first die. Um, and at the beginning of the game, I want to get a lot of, of things planted. Um, so Coming here to the planter water space is nice because I get to um, take the the dice action, which is planter water, plus the rondelle board action, which is also planter water. So I'm planting twice. Um, so I think action two, or this two, is going to be pretty good. That's going to give her a one. Um, so she'll um, she's going to try and wreck something in my number one garden, and she's also going to take out something in my apiary. I don't usually go for an apiary strategy, so I'm okay with that. So let's do that. Uh, we use these little decals here in TTS to mark what we do. And so we're going to plant in zone two. I'm going to plant this pumpkin. And then I'm also going to plant one of these corn stalks. Get that going. That's that was my two. Now for the board action, I also get a planter water. Um, I could water two and make these grow taller. It's probably not the beneficial right now. And planting more corn maybe also not great because it's just victory points at the end. Whereas pumpkins kind of give you better actions during the game. Uh, so how can I do that? Well, the best thing to do with them is to spend some compost, which allows me to um, manipulate the die. So that two can now become a one or a three. Uh, and I think we will go over to three and plant both of these pumpkins right there. Um, and that's my whole turn. So that uh, dice is used. Uh, now, Edith, she starts at this golden pin on the apiary of fruit and just goes clockwise every time. So she's going to take this one. And so she's going to wreck the biggest pumpkin I have on slot one, which is this guy here. And then um, she's going to take an apiary action. That's where the blue pin is. And so she's going to wreck the wax on this apiary. And that's her turn. I don't know if wreck is the right term. She's just going to not allow me to do it. Think of like Kanban where you've got like, uh, oh, can I remember her name now? <laughs> uh, the manager who's like getting mad at you. She's like, uh, this pumpkin's bad. You're not allowed to grow it here. Yeah. But anyway, all right. So now I get to, um, I'm required to take as my second die, the lowest of the remaining dice. So I take this three and um, that'll allow me to plant or water in three. Uh, I don't think I really need to grow these pumpkins yet. I'll have plenty of time to do that. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'm out of compost. Um, so I can't do that either. So we're stuck going to just plant these corn, which is fine. Um, and then as the action, it's shed time. So I get to grow some kind of shed or uh, start building a tool. Um, there's a couple ones that seem to work better. For me, I like the mason jar and the pie safe because they contribute extra goods. Um, mulch is always great. The seed spreader is great, great if you get it early on. Um, we are going to do a shed time here and also the end of round bonus is the shed. So if I go for the pie safe, I'm going to get both of those finished. I can guarantee that that's done at the end of the round. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's my action. For her, this four. She is going to wreck. Oh no, that's not the greatest. That's okay. This pumpkin here. 
and she's going to do that, that compost a good action for that one. What she does is she marks off one of my bonus stars so that I can't get that one now. Oh well. Um, so that's her action. End of the round bonus is to take a shed action, so I will go ahead and finish off my pie safe. And now anytime I harvest apples or peaches, I get uh, an extra good. Just what it's saying there. Okay, end of the round. Move to round two. It's a pretty quick game. It's one of the reasons I like it. Roll those dice again. The two is going to go here. Three, and then since these sixes match, they'll go together. Oh, that's a six. And Edith will move there. Uh, she goes go first, and she'll always pick the uh, clockwise from the gold pin, so she takes this two. And she's going to just wreck one of these corns because all the pumpkins are planted so corn is her next highest priority uh, then she's going to go to a fruit and she's going to take out one of my apple trees ah oh, that's a tough one it's okay as long as it's not peaches never let her take my peaches they're too good um so my turn um if i take a six i'm going to end up getting both sixes if i take the three then she'll get a six and take out this one here. Um, do I want to shed time? A three. I mean, I could plant threes, and then when it rains, that whole garden is just going to grow like crazy. Um, and I can get mason jars. Uh, the farmer's market is not the best for me right now because I don't have a ton of goods. Um, and so the, the, without any goods, I just get compost from Farmer's Market. Hmm. So taking a double Farmer's Market action is just, I think, a waste. I'm going to be forced to take one. Hmm. I don't really like my options here. <laughs> um, but I guess I do need compost as a out, so maybe I just do that. I think I need to. I don't want her to destroy this pumpkin here. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take the six. I'm going to plant these two pumpkins. And then with the farmer's market, I get one compost. Okay. That was the six. Now she takes the three. And what's left for her is corn here. And the shed time, she's going to take... This is the lawnmower shed, which is the bottom one. She's going to count one, two, and three and take out the pitchfork. So I can't get the pitchfork. My turn, I have the six again. Let's go ahead and plant more because it's about to rain. And then farmer's market, more compost, yay. Okay, so for the rain action, every single garden is going to grow. So that one grows. This one grows. So now that corn is tall enough where I can plant some beans. I do get one good for finishing that pumpkin. And nothing in four or five, then six. Yep, that, that one's not finished either. Okay, so didn't really end up with much, but I had a lot of plants grow. Round three. This we're gonna have another farmer's market at the end of the round. So I would like to get up at least at least to four goods here. So it means maybe a raspberry if I have a fruit option. All right. So a one, a two, five, and a six. Okay. So I can do a one with some fruit, which I think is a great idea. Um, then she would take out two things. Number two, which I'm okay with. Um, and then I would get a five in the shed, which is good. I do have some combos, so I can manipulate any of these. And then she's going to take my bonus stars out again. Arr. So my other option is I take the six, so she doesn't get the bonus action. And I can plant some more stuff or just water it. Hmm. That would give me a lot of goods. 
So yeah, I think I do that. So I'm gonna take the six, I'm gonna leave it as a six and yeah, let's go ahead and plant some more stuff. Right? Hmm. I'll worry about her getting the five because then she takes this. But I need that one. Oh man, this stuff. If I take the five, she takes the one and I get the two. So there's no there's no way for me at the five and the six, which is what I want. <laughs> Um, oh, that's what I could do. I'll use, I'll use some compost. So I'm going to use, I'm going to take the six, but I'm going to um, manipulate it to a five. I think that's my best choice there. And go plant two there. Uh, and then I get one compost. So the compost I spent, get right back. And four goods. One, two, three, four. You just skip over the one that she, uh, she used. Okay, so she's going to do... Number one, which is this one. And then she'll do my apiary, again, taking out some wax. I get number two, uh, which I could manipulate, but I think I'm okay leaving it as it is. So I'll plant here and here, and then I get to do it again. So I'll plant here and the beans. Cool, so two, three, and six are kind of like my big cash crop gardens here uh, but it is nice to spread out um, for the rain because then it waters everything all right and then her five because I blocked that she has to take some corn and then she gets shed time and it's one two three four five rain barrel Okay, uh, then we do a farmer's market, and now I am above four, so I get um, one perennial action, and this is one of the only way to get perennial actions is through the farmer's market or through bonuses from the pumpkins. Um, so yeah, you wanna be high up on the farmer's market when it comes. But I got one compost just for being there, and then one perennial. I think I will use that. Uh, to get a free fruit, and I'll put that on peaches. Do I want that on peaches, or I want to get some raspberries first? I think I want to do that. Start working towards a bonus action, because that's another way to get perennials is a bonus action. So one, two, and three. All right, so that was my farmer's market. We are moving on to round four. All right, so we're apiaries and fruit here. Two and six. Oh, why is it cute? Rolling over. All right, so that goes there. Um, and she is going first because it's an even round. And so she takes this one. And uh, she took this cheap pumpkin here. And then this is the uh, fruit. And on a one, again, she's going to take an apple. Wow. Okay. It's not going to be apple season. Uh, for me, I'm going to guarantee to get six. Um, so do I want a shed action or a peri fruit action? Um, I think the fruit action, I can get bonus action. So I think that's pretty good. If I go raspberries, that is. Or apples. No, apples one because I have to actually harvest it, which it takes two. Um, let's, yeah, let's do one, or should we do two? I can get mason jars. Okay. What's she going to do? One, I don't really care about. I'm not even planted in that garden right now. And again, she'll take out another fruit tree or whatever. We're not doing apples, so I'm doing the two. And I will go ahead and uh, water with me too. So that grows, that grows, that grows, that grows, that grows, and that grows. That was pretty good watering. And then with the shed, I will get the mason jars. 
So now all my fruits are fruit trees are really giving me goods. So that's that's a good thing. Okay. Um, so again, we said that she's going to take the one. I mean, I love giving her ones now because it's she's just wasting. I'm not ever going to go there anyway. Um, but yeah, the the apple tree kind of hurts. So that's another three points I can't get. All right, so I am left with a six, and I think, do I want to plant the last two and then water later, or do I want to just water right now? Get two goods. It does put me on the bonus. Yeah, I think I want to water. I mean, it's going to rain. Hmm. Yeah, if it's gonna rain, I just I might as well plant. Okay. Um, farmers market with nine goods. So these are the same action: compost and the perennial. Um, with the perennial, I'll take the raspberry or the hydrangea. Sorry, the raspberry gives me three goods. This gives me a bonus action, which I will take a tulip, I think. Yeah. So now my peaches are one for the pie safe and two for the tulips bonus. Uh, that is the end of that. So we do the, the end of a round action, which is rain again. No, we're not going to have rain till the end of the game. So uh, won't be raining for a while. But we get quite a few points up here in zone two with three goods for that one. Uh, let's remember that we get a bonus action. Um, what do I want? Let's do peaches now that we can get the bonus here or, or some of the bonus. Um, so then zone three is going to go. Oh, I forgot this. Uh, before that happens, these two are both done, so I get a tulip bonus. Okay. So now water that one, that one, that one for two goods. And then I get a Hayekin bonus, which is two more goods. I love the, the chaining that starts happening. It's pretty cool. Uh, nothing in four, five is just these two, which is one good, which is a bonus action, which will be a tulip. Now my peaches are really strong. And then in six, that one, uh, that, one, that one for two more action, two more goods. That was really nice rain. Oh, <laughs> I think we set that up pretty well. All right, halfway through the game, let's move on to five. Odd round, so I'm first. Yeah, a one, two, three, four again. Okay. Try not to shake them up. She's just alternating between the apiary and fruit, like just the way it's happening. She just goes back and forth. Usually she moves around a little bit more, but just how we've rolled them. Okay. Um, so peaches are really strong right now. So this um, this fruit action is pretty nice for me. Um, I will have to use some compost because zone one is crappy. Um, the other option is giving her one, which is, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, otherwise she's going to take some beans away from zone two, which I'm not too excited about. Um, I'm actually going to take two beans. So maybe I do do zone two. And just wait on fruit for some other time. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. Okay. So we will do... Zone two. And first thing we're going to do is plant some beans. We can plant that bean and that bean. And then for our action, um, I don't really care to water zone two right now because it's just going to finish it off. And I can finish it off at the end of the game. It's just points. So I'm better off using compost and moving that up to a three, I think. Or I could do six. Uh, yeah, I think maybe six. 
No, well, let's do three. It's that one and that one. So now, oh yeah, she can still do some beans, but cool. So that was this. Edith will take this one and she's gonna tear down another corn plant. She just gets in there and just rips it to shreds. Um, and then apiary, take out the beehive. What do you got against the bees, Edith? Huh? All right, I get a three. And I can't plant. Well, I could plant this one is the only thing I could plant. Watering is not great either. So do I want to manipulate it? I've got up to three. Two and six are, are pretty much, well, two's definitely done. Six, I just need to water one more time sometime in the game. Um, I do need to plant on six, actually. Hmm. I'm at a three, though, is the problem. So maybe take it to a five? Oh, there is. Oh, there's there's pumpkins over here I've, I haven't even got. So yeah, let's manipulate it just one to get it to a four. Come on, come close. There you go. So that three now becomes a four, and I'll plant that one and that one, which gives me a good for finishing that, and a hydrangea, which gives me nothing. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, we're good there. That's the end of my, oh, that was my three. I still have a shed actually to build. Um, I think fruit bowl's pretty decent. If I'm gonna get one of each fruit, that's, you know, five more actions to get 11 points. Mulch is also really nice um, because you can get a lot of these uh, perennial actions. Um, I don't think carving kit's gonna be worth it now because she's taken so many pumpkins away from me. Seed spreader, it's too late in the game to get that. Could just go for straight up points. Um, since I'm going for a lot of goods, fancy labels is actually pretty decent too. You get extra perennial actions. So maybe we'll, we'll start with fancy labels. All right. And Eva's turn, she's going to take out four, which is a good thing I did. And uh, that's another one of my bonus actions she's going to destroy. Ah, thanks, Eva. Okay, uh, end of the round. So we do a farmer's market. I am at 5, 10, 15, 23. So I'm over the 20, which is nice. So I got one perennial and one fruit action. Um... If I'm going to do a lot of fruit, this, this one can be beneficial. It's 15, which is more than any other thing. Um, that requires you to just go fruit crazy. Or I think getting like a blackberry right now might be beneficial. Or shed action. Oh, maybe do a daffodil. A bit of shed action. Help with our fancy labels. Um, and then I get a fruit action, which will be watering. Some peaches. The peaches give me one, two, three, four goods. Now you can see how I go for those. And a free water, which will be on, I think zone six. No, I need to plant zone six before I water again. So maybe I don't take it. And the only thing beneficial to doing six right now would be a high kemp and a tulip by finishing that one. Yeah, I think let's just water six. So the tulip is here, it gives us really nothing, but it gets us closer to the points. And high kemp gives us the blackberry. Blackberry gives us points, but we also have the mason jar, which gives us a good. Ah, we're so close to getting that. And I think that's the whole action for our farmer's market. Yeah, okay. So going to round six. Whoa. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, it's going to be a little bit different. She's going to get offset now. Um, she goes first, so she's going to take zone one. Perfect. Let's give her the entire zone one. She can have it all. I don't care. Uh, and this one is fruit. She's going to take another apple tree. Uh, for me, on the other hand, um, I know I'm going to do, f well, yeah, three is mine no matter what. Um, so the only benefit of taking three first is I get to complete this before that, which doesn't have any effect. So might as well just take a one. Uh, what do I want to manipulate it to? Probably a six so I can plant it. So we'll just take out one compost and plant in six. Okay. I could plant in five. I don't know. It's I think I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to finish that corn if there's enough watering left. Um, for my fruit action, let's go ahead and get some more peaches. It's not a harvest of peach, just intermediate stage. All right, uh, Edith again is going to take away something in zone one. She's working on beans now. And another apple tree. <laughs> wow, she really likes apples. And now I get a three. Um, three, what do we want to do here? Hmm. I have one compost. Two is good. I don't care about watering that right now. Three, I can only plant this one thing. Four, I could plant two corn. Or I could water. Not really. Hmm. Yeah, this one's tough. Guess we'll just plant this little bean here. It's, it's basically one point at the end of the game. Whereas this is maybe six points if I can get it. We'll try it. Who knows? So we're using our last compost on that. All right, and then for my shed time, I will finish off the farmer's market. Fancy labels. All right, end of the round, we get another shed. Um, do the mulch. Or the fruit bowl. Let's take the mulch. I think. <laughs> we'll try it. All right, round seven. One there. That's a three. Okay. What is my good count at right now? I'm almost to 30. I need 35 for the next threshold. Um, but I do have the fancy labels, so farmer's market is pretty nice for me. I can get to 35 before I take it. Yeah, she's not gonna take this. Oh, but I can't get it either. Unless I get it first. So for me, it's either a one and a four, three and a six, or a four and a six. Um, the four is pretty good, because I did make that hope I would have to just water. Yeah, I'm just watering. On four. Water twice on four, actually. No, I could water them plant the beans. Yeah, let's do that. And then she'll take a three, and then I'll take a six, which gives me a shed. She goes to my mulch. Okay, I think we're good there. Uh, so take a four, and we will water. So bam, bam, and bam. And then my forward action will be to plant, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to water it one more time to make this worth it. Okay, let's do it. 
That was my two plantings. Uh, so my action's done. She takes the three. And all the corn is done. So she takes beans. I'm gonna give her these beans. I get to choose on that. Uh, and then she's taking apiary and she's gonna take some honey this time. She got sick of the wax, I guess. Oh, I'm not gonna get a shed action. I'm gonna get the farmer's market. I, f I forgot it's lowest remaining die, not clockwork. She works clockwise. I have to take the lowest remaining die, which is this one. Oh, well, that's not good. Because I don't have any compost. <laughs> and ones are horrible. Oh, no. <gasps> I can't even plant. I can't even water. I just wasted it. Ah, oh, shoot. Huh. There should be an, uh, like a thing where like if, if you don't want to or can't, you just take a compost or something. But doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right, so I get the one. I can't do anything with it. But I can do a farmer's market. Um, we didn't get up to the 30s, so we're still at 20, 20 or 35, so we're still at 20. Two perennials because of my fancy labels and one fruit. Um, perennials, I think I will take a apple and a peach, which gives me a water action. I will water four. Which gives me three goods and a bonus action plus a crocus to compost. Oh, hey, that works out because I can do them in any order. So now I have compost that I can use. I do have a bonus action again. Um, let's just get this one per fruit because right now we're at one, or we will be at one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six points. Oh, that's seven points. Yeah. This one has more potential. She's not going to take it, right? No. So I'll do that one. Okay. Um, I still have my fruit action, which I'll take apples. Um, I didn't get my goods for my peaches. I was at my peaches. So my peaches are worth four. My apples are worth two. So that's six more goods. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Which is another bonus action. So then I'll take that. Oh, do I take that one? I don't think I need any more waters. I've actually kind of situated my waters for the end of the end of the game. So I'll take seven points. Okay, hopefully I played that dice right. It's a little bit iffy in the rules, but I think it says lowest remaining die. Okay, and she takes the six. And I guess she's gonna take away. Some beans and then farmer or no a shed is she's gonna take a casserole okay farmers market I hit the 35 threshold which I was trying to now I get three perennial actions and a free compost oh I didn't I forgot to go back and do my level one because I have compost now I should have used Hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe I don't. Let's just, yeah, let's do it, whatever. Okay, backing up a tiny bit using two compost, and I'm going to just wa plant water. Yeah. Um, a one can go back to a five. Either way, that's kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to a five and just water. Whatever. Okay, now finish off the farmer's market. I get a compost and I get three of these actions. Um, let's do one, two, three. So two shed actions. Definitely that one. And what else can I finish by the end of the game? 
probably this one. It's just one point, but so maybe I don't take this shit action. And instead take that one. Gives me a bonus good instead, which I will use to get Hmm. I mean, every fruit's a point, so let's do some raspberries. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Last round. Hope that was so many combos. I, I hope I got it all right. You guys can rewind and probably miss something, but eh, I think we got everything. Three, four, five, six. What's with me and getting runs all the time? All right, she's first. She'll destroy on three. Uh, looks like she's taking beans out. Then I'm just checking all my pumpkin bonuses, make sure I got them all. Yeah. Um, composting goods. Oh, dang it. Eat it. All right, what do I need really bad? I'm getting the farmer's market no matter what. Um, and I can manipulate that. I don't know. I mean, the rain's going to finish off this. I guess I could plant this bean and then I'd get one point. Um, huh. I don't really care about the shed. So let's take a four and we'll manipulate it up to a five. I have no idea why. And we'll plant that bean and that corn. Sure. Uh, then I get apiary or fruit. I uh, will take some blackberries, which gives me a good from the mason jar and two points. And a point for that one too, so pretty good. Um, her turn, she'll take the five and destroy those beans in the shed time. One, two, three, four, five. wheelbarrow. Edith, you stole my wheelbarrow. Return it, please. All right, then I've got the six, which we said we we're just going to plant this stupid little bean right here. Yep. And then farmer's market, I'm at 45, which is not the next level. Close, but no cigar. Uh, three and one compost. Uh, what three do we want? We can't quite get up to that 10. Um, is the rain going to give us any bonuses? No. So I think this, these two. So I get two shed actions and four points. With the two shed actions, I get another point. Okay. Uh, that's the end. So we just do a final rain. So two. Look at all that. That was 12 points for that rain. Okay. This zone. Three, six. Four for that one. I don't care about mark that one. And the last one, big points. Wow, I built everything in six. Oh, I missed one bean in six and one field there. So that was pretty good. Okay, that's the end of the game. Let's go ahead and score it up. Uh, so the first thing we get is our garden. <laughs> Zone one is crap. Uh, but then this one is going to be. Four times four, 16, then 20, 23, 27, 31, 35, and then another 16, 51 points in garden. Woo, that is nice. It's halfway to the top score. All right, our perennials, we didn't 
quite well no we did pretty good how many fruit do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight so that's eight points 15 19 points in perennials the apiary i didn't touch our fruits we're looking at three seven eight and then our shed we completed one plus three is four five six nines oh wait that's five for those seven seven total all right uh not my best game but we did get uh 70 85. i have scored 100 before um, so 85, according to the rule book, is you have become an internet famous blogger. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that play of Three Sisters. Um, check out the rest of my channel for other game playthroughs of, of solo and cooperative games. Make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Hope to see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.